Good morning everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I want to talk to you about charging loss. When you charge an electric car, the battery gets warmed up by the current that you put in and also there's resistance in the battery so not everything, all the energy that you charge goes into the battery for you to drive. So I wanted to test with my Volkswagen ID3 what the best way of charging is to not lose that much energy. And don't forget that now I have membership on YouTube, so become a member. You get uh, details behind the scenes and of course uh, early access to videos and results. So for example the results for this video, my members and my Patreons got way earlier than the normal, the general public. <laughs> I took the car to different chargers and charged it to 50 to 100 percent explanation in a second. So I charged at home with a 2.3 kilowatt charger, the home charger with the Shuko socket. Then I charged with a portable charger that I got from Metron cables um, with 5.5 kilowatt and 11 kilowatt. And then I went to a triple charger and charged again uh, 11 kilowatt type 2 and then with, 50, with a 50 kilowatt CCS and then I went to Ionity and also charged there from 50 to 100 percent. So why 50 to 100 uh, percent? I wanted to do it that way because I didn't want to stop charging when I think it is uh, a certain uh, state of charge. I wanted the car to stop. And the car has a, has a charge limit at 50%, then always in 10% increments up to 100%. And so for me, the best way to start at the exact same uh, state of charge and end at the exact same state of charge was 50 to 100%. Problem with that, it's just half of the battery, so charging loss is not that accurate. Um, and also at Ionity, for example, you never get a high speed because this is under 50%. Of course, this test is not amazingly accurate because the battery was not the exact same temperature at every test. And this is important because um, a colder battery has a higher resistance, therefore more charging loss. But I try to be at around the same temperature I always drove before and I always charged up to 50% before I did the, the, the real charging test but of course it was not always the same thing sometimes I started with 46 and then charged to 50% and that did the test and sometimes it was a 34 or something so it's not amazingly accurate but I think the numbers are pretty good. And then of course it's about how accurate the measurement is. The triple charger is, you know, you pay per kilowatt hour, so I think that's pretty accurate. Also at home the 5 and the 11 kilowatt charger was is connected to a, a kilowatt hour measurement for the power company, so I'm pretty sure this is very accurate. But the 2.3 kilowatt I measured with a device that measures uh, how much power the socket is, is, is taking right now and then uh, calculates the, the kilowatt hours used in that time. So I don't know if this is amazingly perfectly accurate, but I doubt that with those under 30 kilowatt hours that have been charged is so off. So I, I think it's okay. Also important to know is that the portable charger in my garage has a 40 meter cable to the house so uh, this could ha have some charging loss so energy loss but because of that I charged at the triple charger where there's just a short cable uh, with 11 kilowatts so I can see if there's any big difference. So let's look at the results. Like I said um, I'm charging my ID3 from 50 to 100 percent and two weeks ago I measured Again, not very amazingly accurate that it should have 57.4 kilowatt hour usable energy. And so 50 to 100 percent should be 27.2 kilowatt hours. Again, I don't know when the car exactly stops. Is it really exactly 50 percent and does it stop on top exactly 100 percent? But it's not so much about this. It's more about the difference in charging for me. But let's look, let's start with uh, uh, the, 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 the home charger, 2.3 kilowatt. It charged 32.5 kilowatt hours. That's 
19.5% uh, loss. Um, it cost me 8 euro 13 cent because at home I, I pay 25 cent. That's a lot, I know, but Germany is that way. It took 14 hours and 45 minutes. Outside temperature was 16 degrees, but then it got a bit colder overnight, of course. Average charging power was 2.2 kilowatt. Um, yeah, you see the time and everything. Go to the next one. At home, portable charger, 5.5 kilowatt, 29.6 kilowatt hours, 8.8 percent. Took five hours, 15 minutes. Then at 11 kilowatt, the maximum that uh, ID3 can do. And important when you charge AC, the charger is just providing the energy. The car does the conversion. It converse, uh, con converts AC into DC for the battery. So there is a loss of course, but it doesn't seem to be that high. Because at 11 kilowatt now we have 29.25 kilowatt hours charged. That's 7.5% charging loss. And it took two hours, 45 minutes. And you can see temperature difference here. Then I went to the triple charger um, and charged AC there because again, like I said, 40 meter cable at my portable charger at home. Maybe it uses, uh, it, it, there's a lot of loss, but it's not. You can see that I charged 29.2 kilowatt hour. So there's no difference. And I, at home, I used a very thick cable because even I can even charge with 22 kilowatt over the cable, even more than that. I overdid it a bit. Wasn't too smart, but you know how it is. So that's 7.35%, but it costs a lot because the cheapest in Germany that I have right now at the triple charger is 42 cent per kilowatt hour. Took two hours, 40 minutes. Then at the, at the same charger with CCS DC 50 kilowatt, it charged 29 kilowatt hours. That's 6.62%. That's pretty awesome, but it costs 15 euros because then I pay 52 cent per kilowatt hour. It took only 50 minutes. Then yesterday I went to a Onity charger and the car is capable of charging 100 with 100 kilowatt and therefore then there's cooling also in there. So you would have a higher charging loss because the battery has to be cooled actively and with a fan and the AC goes on to cool the battery. But I charge from 50 to 100 percent at 17 and a half degrees. The battery got up to 32 degrees, but it the cooling, the fan never went on and the charging power never went above 45 kilowatts. So it's almost the same charging power as with the 50 kilowatt charger. Again, because I started at 50% um, and I charged 28.07 kilowatt hours. That's only 3.2% charging loss, but it still costs more um, than at home, um, but less than at the 50 kilowatt charger because with the ID3 I have a charging plan where I pay 10 euros a month and then uh, at Ionity I pay 30 cent per kilowatt hours. So it took 48 minutes, just two minutes less. Um, and I think uh, what the, this stat show is how much charging loss you have with the granny charger when you charge with two kilowatt. That's just crap. And I know uh, um, my home charger, so even the, the 230 volt uh, 10 amp charger with 2.3 kilowatt also has a 40, kil uh, 40 um, meter cable from the house, but I measured right at the socket, not in the house. And that's why the, the cable has no impact on that. But I think that's amazingly interesting. So don't charge with 2.3 kilowatt, charge with 5 or 11 kilowatt at home AC. That's the best. And I think as far as I know, um, it's also the best for the battery. <laughs> but that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.